Welcome everybody, today we're going to cover Taskade, a task management tool that I had the pleasure of using for quite some time now. I'm going to go over why I like using it, how it compares to other projects, as well its task management, collaboration and customization or personalization features that it brings to the table. Thank you to Taskade for sponsoring this video, let's dive in. In a nutshell, my experience with Taskade can be described by your initial experience with Taskade itself. You visit the website, you click on the live demo, no signups, no nothing. It brings you to the to-do list and you just start using it. Write out your project name, start creating your tasks. You can conveniently manipulate tasks, select multiples of them, copy them, arrange them into hierarchies of indefinite indentation. So bigger tasks are comprised of smaller tasks. Things get too out of hand, you can uh, collapse them, really focus on the stuff that you need. There are keybinds pretty much for everything, so I enjoy that. If you would like to click to complete tasks, that is up to you. There is also an option to customize how your to-do list looks like without getting in the way. After seeing Taskade in action, a really straight to the point to-do list without too much getting in the way, let's take a look at some of the other options available out there on the market. We're going to start with three more enterprise options like Jira, Monday.com and Azure Boards in Azure Pipelines. The three of these are really good if you have a business analyst or a product owner or a project manager sitting there and organizing those tickets in all various ways, which I simply don't have the time to do. Just going to pass on these straight away. The two options that I have actually considered and used are GitHub Boards and Trello. Now GitHub are minimal tickets, it's very nice. However, once you have tasks relating to each other, one depends on the other one, it gets a little bit messy. And boards are specifically tied to a code base, which isn't true for all my tasks. So there was an organizational issue there. I think Trello makes task relationship look a little bit better, although I still think its UI is a little bit lacking. Ultimately, these two solutions weren't convenient enough for me to keep using them. The next two solutions are probably the ones that I've used for the longest time, are Windows Sticky Notes and OneNote. Windows Sticky Notes have been perfect. Until I accumulated a lot of tasks that were in flight and then it was just a nightmare to manage all these sticky notes and what I was doing and what was relating to each other. Otherwise, for the quick work that I just needed to do for the day, this was perfect. OneNote was just one step from sticky notes, it's just organizing those sticky notes. So you get a convenient view to look at all your sticky notes, but however, I ended up at the same problem afterwards where I just accumulated mass of tasks. And again, it became hard to track what I was doing currently, how it relates to the other tasks, are there any dependencies between them, etc. So after some time, I've abandoned that as well. There is also Notion there. Now Notion is an exceptional piece of software. I think it is very good for note taking, specifically because it pushes you in that direction where you want your notes to look pretty so you can come back there and read them again and recall the information that you've written down. For my task management needs, that was not what I needed. I feel like Taskade really lets me focus more on productivity. Get in, write your tasks down, clearly understand what relates to each other through the layout of the tasks without letting its other features get in the way of that primary goal of task management. Once you sign in to Taskade, on the left, you will be able to find your highest level of organization called workspaces. You can have main workspaces and sub workspaces. Sub workspaces cannot have tertiary workspaces. Workspace creation is really simple. You just click on the ellipse menu, give it a name and optionally pick a color and an image for it. Workspaces then contain your projects, which internally contain your tasks. Creating tasks can look as simple as adding a new line. Each of them has a contextual menu next to them, which appears once you highlight the task with a bunch of options available there. Another contextual menu appears below the tasks and another one once you highlight some text within the task. As shown previously, tasks can be conveniently moved around. Hierarchies can be duplicated if you have reusable processes. This can be very useful. Tasks can be collapsed, which makes your task list really easy to look at, as well as an option to hide all completed tasks. Notice that if completed tasks have incomplete subtasks, they are still displayed. And the project has a global contextual menu located at the top right, which allows you to take some global actions around your tasks. A unique URL can be created for each individual task, which makes it very easy to share, as well as a nifty option to add the task to your calendar if you find it important enough it will bring up the form and fill it out for you with the contents of the task. 
In addition to pressing enter to create new tasks, you can use the add block button, which adds a new block or a section to your task list. Now blocks are not just another hierarchies of tasks. They are quite crucial to controlling the layout of your project, which we will look at in a bit. It's worth noting all useful actions in Taskade have key bindings. The spreadsheet can be found in the top right menu. And the only downside here is that you can't remap them. You can search all the tasks in the project by pressing Ctrl F. It will collapse any tasks that do not match the filter, which means you don't have to bounce around the page if you have a very long list of tasks. If your tasks are organized into blocks, you can take advantage of changing project layouts predictably. And I say predictably because if you do not have your tasks arranged into blocks, the layouts can be distorted when switching between them. But otherwise, I'd say this is one of the more exciting features. Manipulating tasks is still as easy and you can choose from five different layouts. The basic one, board, action list, mind map and org chart. I personally have never seen or tried to represent tasks in an org chart or mind map manner. However, it could be quite a creative way to present information. Project management is very simple as well. It's possible to tag your projects and create them on the spot which then allows you to filter the projects by the tags or users that are assigned to them. The projects have a context menu similar to the one in the top right corner from the tasks view, which allows you to perform some quick actions like deleting the project, pinning it, making it a favorite, copying it, and most notable one is probably moving it to a different workspace. If you press Ctrl K, it opens up the project search dialog, which allows you to find your project by name. Unfortunately, you cannot search projects by the contents of the tasks that they contain. Task 8 allows you to set a due date on your tasks and projects. Task due dates can have a specific timestamp assigned to them, while projects can have a whole date range spanning from one date to another. The date range for the project can then be viewed from the roadmap menu. In addition, on the left hand side, you will find a calendar menu where all the tasks and projects that have a due date will be displayed. There's also an option to sync with your calendar at the bottom of the screen. I'll show you how that works in the customization section. Taskade is a great collaboration tool and it makes it really easy to invite others into your workspace. You'll find the buttons at the top which will prompt you for an email or a username of the user that you want to invite to a specific workspace. You can choose to give them editor or viewer privileges. You can also invite others by just sharing a link. If you want to invite others only into a particular project, go to that specific project and click on the same buttons at the top there and instead of your workspace they will be added to your project. You may have noticed the chat on the right hand side of the project. It is possible to collapse it but for collaboration it can be quite useful to see the audit trail, communicate with your team, possible to upload files, tag users as well as use emojis. At the top of the chat you will find a start call button. When trying it out in a nutshell it was essentially like Google Meet. It's possible to talk face to face as well as screen share without any problems. Any users that have been invited to the project with edit or view rights are able to comment on the tasks. This is a great way to develop more information around the task as well as get feedback from guests that you don't want editing your tasks. Users that are part of the project can be assigned to tasks as well as to the project itself. Assigned users will be able to discover tasks that they have been assigned to in the tasks tab as well as the my tasks section from the left hand side menu. When you're collaborating, you can see changes from other users in real time. Their icon is placed next to the task. In this example, you can see me updating the tasks from the app on my phone, which will be covered towards the end of the video. A great example of how good Taskade's collaboration can be can be found in the What's New section in the top right hand corner menu. This is Taskade's personal project where they expose their roadmap to the community. You can see upcoming changes and past releases, as well as participate in the discussion around the features by commenting on the features that you like and sharing your opinion. I myself am planning to set something similar up for my YouTube channel. Cascade has a degree of customization to it. As shown previously, you can customize the layout of your project, which may not be a organizational requirement, but rather a visual appeal. You can create your own templates for projects, this can be useful if you have repeatable projects, for example, a shopping list, a meeting agenda form, or a ticket layout. Created templates can be found in the templates section of that particular workspace. And once you have your template, it is very easy to then create new projects using it. In the bottom left hand corner, you'll find the menu to change your background image. 
I've got the snowy mountains for the ultimate relaxation mode for a stressful day at work and don't forget to enable dark mode. The toggle switch can be found in the top right hand corner menu providing ultimate comfort for your eyes. Tuskate has really good support for emojis so if you're into that kind of thing you can go ahead and sprinkle them all over your tasks. Tuskate gives you the option to synchronize with your Apple, Google or Outlook calendar. The process is straightforward, you copy a link, you paste it into the options and the calendar gets imported. If a task or project has been assigned due dates, they will appear in your calendar. Taskade also provide a browser extension. This extension is available on Chromium based browsers and Firefox. You can click on the icon and it pops up a menu where you can fill out a form and choose where you want to save the task. You can also template the text in by highlighting the text first and then right clicking on the page and clicking add to Taskade. Whatever text you highlighted shows up in the form and again it's just a matter of choosing where you want to save it. In addition the extension gives you the option to overwrite what opening the new tab does for you, like opening the last project, the dashboard, or disabling this functionality. Having Taskade pop up every time you open a new tab can be very useful if you need to be reminded that you need to get things done instead of blindly browsing the internet. Taskade have a mobile app available on iOS and Android. I found the app very straightforward to use just like their browser version, again it's the same principles, straight to the point, nice clean UI, and everything just works. The app doesn't have 100% of the functionality that the browser version provides, however all the important features are implemented. My only complaint with the app is that it's a little bit hard to drag things around, although if you go slow, you'll manage without any problems. Overall, I've been pretty satisfied with the app as well as the browser. I mainly use it to note down some thoughts or tick some of them off. I do not go into full-blown task management mode on my mobile. And if you're enjoying the browser version of Taskade, I would recommend you get the app as well. Thank you very much for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, make sure to check Taskade out, links are in the description and have a good day.